I shall now take you alongside me to Med Love. Med Love here will be hosted by Surabi Kanal. Surabi is a gorgeous hostess on GTV Fox 5 Plus. Today she is found in a dialogue with Miss Poonam Shah. Let's have a look. This is Medlove with your monthly talks here on Global Television Network on Fox 5 Plus. Welcome to all of you in the United States and around the world. I'm your hostess, Sarabi Kanal. Now today's show will be about smiles and how organizations perform genuine work to keep positivity and greater change among us. In order to highlight mental health awareness, we have on the show um, Muskan, which is an NGO based in India that provides vocational facilities for differently abled adults. And today on the show, we have an advocate for this organization, Ms. Poonam Shah. Hi. Welcome to Medlove, Ms. Poonam. Well, thank you for having me, Sorbi. I'm happy to be here. Now, we've spoken quite a bit before, but our viewers don't know quite much about you. So why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? Sure. So I have been born and raised in the Washington, D.C. area, and I went to school in, at the University of Maryland. I've been working um, for about 16 years, and for about 15 years, I've started to get more involved with Muscan mm -hmm. at the, as an organization. I've been doing a lot of fundraisers for them um, and supporting them. That's a quite inspirational bio. Now, how did you get inspired to work in the field of learning disabilities and differentially abled adults? So I visited Muscan over the years as a child and, and more recently, and I'm just inspired by the way the organization is run. Mm -hmm. um, they provide support services and vocational training for children and adults um, with intellectually challenged disabilities like Down syndrome and autism and, and of the likes. And when you go there, everyone is just so happy to be there. Right. You know, the students are grateful to be there for the opportunity to learn to be better themselves, to contribute to society, and the volunteers there are just so happy to um, see that their work is really empowering and making a difference in, in lives and making a community change. So just that warm feeling of making a difference is right. something that just kind of pulled on our hearts and something that we wanted to contribute to. Right. Now here in the U.S., there are a lot of resources for equal rights and a support system in place for these mm -hmm. adults. But how do you feel about resources available back in India and what are the differences you see there? Well, I see here that, you know, India has done a lot over the last couple of years to, mm -hmm. to get caught up. But, you know, 30 years ago when Muscan was started, there mm -hmm. really wasn't much support with um, when their children are being born that are just not normal. You know, right. parents don't know how to cope, they don't know how to support their child, um, and unfortunately they're, you know, sometimes shunned, they're kind of kept in the room, maybe they go to school for a couple years, and, and that's really how Muscon started. It was a group of parents coming together mm -hmm. to support each other and their children. Right. And as they started learning about, um, you know, their children and their capabilities and their potential, then they started to formalize a more, de a more developed program to help them uh, live a dignified life, you know, to provide, right. to provide for them other than schooling, something to right. do after school. And so I feel like with social media and technology, over the last 10 years, you know, right. everyone integrating around the world, I feel like, you know, it has come a long way. Mm -hmm. There's still quite a bit to do. Um, here in the U.S., there are definitely support services and through insurance, but over there, it's something they're catching up to. Right. There is quite a bit to do. <laughs> yeah. But um, how, what would you say was the most impactful work you've, that you've done so far? Well, you know, Muscana based out in India, I feel like my work here is kind of small in raising awareness and, and raising funds, um, but our most successful fundraiser that we had was this past year mm -hmm. in May. We mm -hmm. had a, a 5K and a 1K race out here in Fairfax, mm -hmm. Virginia, and we really brought together the community here. So we had parents, grandparents, kids, you know, five, six years old, adults, uh, teenagers all coming together. Mm -hmm to run in the race and learn about Muscan and their important work that mm -hmm. they've been doing and to really bring awareness. And I felt like that platform has helped me connect with others, with you, with okay. GTV, and you know, with other nonprofits around the area. And I feel like that's just, you know, all coming together um, is really supportive. Right. Now we mentioned equal rights earlier. What kind of work is done in regards to legislation for these adults and how is government handling the progression? Well, in, in India, the government is pretty involved. You know, they have been an advocate of Muscan for a number of years. They've um, not only given them some funding for their work, but they've actually um, 
over the last, I would say, within the last 10 years, they actually asked Muscon to develop a residential facility, mm -hmm. a similar model as Muscon, where it's like independent living. Mm -hmm. And so students can live independently. They can be cared for. Uh, they, then there's a bus that transports the, those students to Muscon. Mm -hmm. And so the model here is done well. And with the government support, they're encouraging other NGOs to right. follow the model, like right. train the trainers. And so I feel like their support is there. Um, it's just, it takes a village to kind of come together to make these changes, you mm -hmm. know, in, in right. process and also working with the government, making sure that these employees, when they become employees, have full benefits, minimum right. wage, equal insurance, things like that. I mean, this is such necessary work. Yes. Um, Medlo is definitely supportive to your service and all your future endeavors. Thank you so much for being here on the show. Well, thanks for having me, and good luck to MedLove, too. I'm really happy to be here. Stay tuned for next month's episode as we take on even more new discoveries. Don't forget to spread love, tell a joke, and keep your head up high. This is your hostess, Sarabi Kanal, signing off.